What's up guys? I'm up early for, for a sunrise shoot here on the coast of Wales. Let's go. So remember back in Venice Beach when I used Trover, the app Trover, to shoot street photography or to find street art within the city? Well here in Wales I'm doing the exact same thing except for instead of street art, I'm finding landscapes. So from my hotel just down in Pembroke, I literally opened the app today and just searched around and within like 10 miles I found this place called the Green Bridge of Wales, which actually looks like a really, really cool landscape photography location. So it's cold this morning, but um, I'm up to take some pictures. So I'm on location and the spot's really, really cool, but there's really heavy backlight right now. So I'm trying to fight it a bit. I've got this setup over here, 16 to 35, and I've actually got two grad filters. I've got a four stop medium grad ND and a three stop hard grad ND. So seven stops of light out of the sky. I'm getting some vignetting, but I don't think that's anything I can't fix in post. I'm using like a bit of the foreground here just to you know frame the image a little bit. And there's lots of drama in the sea and I think this is actually coming out pretty cool. Like a waterfall in my head. Like a river that was never running dry. Like my favorite ball of chocolate. It will never end. This always seems to happen. Oh, the sun just came up. I was going to shoot that, but I'm too late. <laughs> Um, this always seems to happen. They've got the epic stuff that way and terrible light, and you've got this kind of average scene this way, but epic light. So I've got the camera pointing the wrong direction, shooting this fence line and coastline, getting that sky, and it's, it's an okay image, but I should be shooting that, so I'm gonna stop talking to you and shoot that. What a really, really, really cool location, and even better than the location maybe, was there were some cool photographers there to hang out with and chat with. I love that aspect of photography, especially landscape photography. Coming to a location, first thing in the morning, it's cold, and then there's just people to hang out with, strangers to become friends with, love that. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna look around at some other spots here, trying to see if there's another location, maybe for the morning or something like that. This is incredible, incredible here. I'm gonna try to be quiet and slow, but there's these sea stacks here and they're covered with these birds. At first I thought it was just like bird poo, but literally it's black and white like penguins out here and just covered. I'm gonna get the long lens out and try to show you guys what I mean. I want to talk quickly about weather, <laughs> about weather. I just checked the forecast for this exact location and it said blue skies with maybe a few clouds. This isn't a few clouds, this is an epic amount of clouds and kind of the scariest sky in history. Um, this is White Sands. This is another location uh, that I found via Trover as my Trover landscape photography or I guess seascape photography treasure hunt or scavenger hunt continues. 
Um, this place is cool. The tide's out right now, obviously, but you can see the tides here in Wales are insane. The beach has got all the way out there, and you can tell that high tide, it gets to right here. And that's absolutely nutty. This is one of the places I wanted to check out. I'm guessing it's better at high tide. So I think I'm gonna wander around and have a look. So I'm gonna show you guys a clip on the drone right now that I just shot. And you can see this really, really cool landscape, like a jagged rock formation that leads out into the sea. I think that could be a really epic place for a landscape photo. You might remember back when I was in North Devon, like a month or two ago, I shot this seascape. And the seascape there had this similar sort of formation. And I think it could be really, really cool. I love those jagged rocks that lead into the sea. And yeah, I think that could be brilliant. But the problem is, it's really kind of cloudy and miserable here. So I'm gonna head on and try to find another location, try to pop another spot into this uh, location scout and find a different seascape. And I guess if that fails, I'll come back here. <laughs> oh, you know you're in Wales when this happens. Where are you guys going? Oh, I feel so bad. Just go to the side of the road and eat your grass. Guys, it's okay. I'm not gonna run you over, I promise. Oh my God, I'm a herding sheep in Wales. <laughs> oh, the owner's gonna be pissed. He's like, where are my sheep? Okay, one has escaped. There, yeah, go, no, 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 no. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys. Just go to the side, I won't hit you. Oh no, now I've run them into the village. Oh, the guy at this car is about to get shocked. Here's a bunch of sheep. <laughs> oh, no. Bye. <laughs> that was legitimately one of the funniest things that has ever happened in my life. Hurting sheep in Wales. Ah, too funny. I'm at, um, you know how bad I am at pronouncing things. I'm at Aberredi. If that's not what it's actually called, I'm sorry. But this is where I'm gonna shoot photography. The tides are riding, rising like yesterday, so hopefully I can get a couple shots off in time. There's these leading line rocks that I was mentioning here as well in Aberredi. This is probably a better spot to shoot them too, um, just because I can get lower to the ground. There's also like a, I don't know what that is like an old watchtower, some ruins up that way. So um, I might shoot this first until the tides get too high and then go try that. This is a cool spot. Let's take some pictures. Pretty fun place to shoot and the tides are actually perfect for this shot right now. They're coming in quick, but right now it's ideal and I probably only get a couple minutes of light because there's a giant cloud on the horizon. And right now the sun's coming through it and giving some really nice warm light, some warm backlight hitting all these rocks. Now, the reason I like this composition, the reason I like this spot, is there's kind of this balance between really rough sea and calm sea that's not getting hit by the waves. I'm shooting 30 second exposures at F11, straight into the sun with a four stop grad ND, a four stop medium grad ND, and a six stop ND. And I think it's coming out pretty cool. There's few places in the world you get better seascapes than Wales. This is just unreal. <laughs> this
this is coming out awesome. But despite it being awesome, I want to talk about the challenges. The biggest challenges you're going to face when shooting seascape photography are keeping your feet dry, obviously, but finding balance in your images and finding leading lines. I was shooting straight into the sunlight and it was looking good, but now the sun's disappeared, so I'm trying to find other ways to work. And I have that ruin way up on the hill. And I think that's a really cool shot, but all the lines here, as you can probably see behind me, they all lead straight the opposite direction. So the way I'm balancing that is I'm trying to find rocks in the foreground that form almost an arrow leading right right to that. And when I'm talking about balance, what I mean is I'm keeping a certain percentage of the power of an image or the certain percentage of the capacity of an image in one part of the image while also having an equal amount in another part of the image. So my foreground is like the bottom third of this image and I need something to balance that out. It could be sunset. In this case, it's the, the ruins up there. And as a result, by doing those things, I think I'm getting really cool images that are really visually pleasing. The rules of photography, the rules of composition aren't sticky rules that you have to follow, but they are definitely things that you can use to your advantage if you're struggling a little bit. And seascape photography is not easy, but uh, it can be fun. And if you do everything right and you get lucky with the right waves and the right situation, it can be really, really rewarding. I'm having a little bit of a battle within myself now, not because I'm struggling with the images, everything's coming out really nice, and maybe that's part of the problem. If I wasn't getting good images, I would sit around here and wait, but <laughs> the tides are starting to rise, but I can see there's like a break on the horizon, and I think the sun might come through that and light this all up again, and that would be unreal and absolutely beautiful. But on the other hand, I've already gotten the cool images. I've already gotten the images I wanted. So I'm kind of deciding or trying to decide if I should go and try something else. And it's kind of the constant battle. Do I perfect something or do I try to get one cool shot and then get another shot somewhere else? And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, I still have no idea. Yeah, let's go for a hike. Let's go see if we can try something different. We got this shot knocked out. I've got to have faith that it's good. Let's go shoot something else. Definitely glad I moved. This is totally, totally different than it was just down there. And as I hoped, the sun's actually coming through. There's actually sun rays happening that way. Unfortunately, there's not a lot going on that way. Over here though, it's really interesting. You got this area here, which Google Maps tells me is a blue lagoon. It looks like it was once a quarry at some point. You've got that ruin up on the hilltop and you've got this really interesting rock formation in the middle here. Uh, the problem is that it kind of blocks the light. So I don't really know what to do with this because it's one of those places that's really, really cool to look at, but just isn't photographing well. I think I need to once again try to push on and try to find another spot before the sun comes out. Just came a little bit higher and the perspective is way better from up here because the light's not being blocked by that mound over there and the image is just balanced better. Still the same setup, six stop ND and four stop hard or medium grad ND. And I'm gonna shut up now because I think the light's about to explode. The light and the weather is just changing so quickly on me here that I think I got a shot there and I am actually gonna try to get another shot somewhere else. I don't think I have time. It's 15 minutes until sunset and I wanna go and see if I can get to that ruined building over there.
say BVS, how would your perfect day go? That's it, that was phenomenal. Sure, I would have loved to get like epic light, but that was just such a good day. <sighs> Wales, I absolutely love it here. Absolutely love the seascapes, love the openness, kind of the solitude, the driving, everything about it. And yeah, I guess that's it. That is totally it. This episode was sponsored by Trover, and it wasn't just sponsored by Trover, it was also helped out by Trover as I found all these locations, not using anything else except for the app, and then maybe a little bit of Google Maps to try to help find the perfect spot, but ah, good day, and tomorrow I'll be at it again here in Wales. I'll see you there. Peace.